Hello everyone, this is David from China. Welcome to my channel. I hope all of you are doing really well. So in today's video, we're gonna do a really big project. We're gonna build real, without any bugs, functional timer. So let's see the overview of today's project. As you can see, our timer is gonna be something like this. As you can see, we have seconds and minutes. We can just set the time using these buttons. As you can see, I can just add numbers to the seconds and minus numbers. I can also add numbers to the minutes. And when I just click this start button, this timer will start to decrease. As you can see, it is working. And also I can just stop this timer and I can also delete the time here as you can see like this. And also one more additional feature is that as you can see here I have four color buttons and we can just change the background color of this project using these buttons. So I have four options here number one is as you can see red color number two is orange number three is blue number four is white and the one more additional thing that after setting the time i click the start button right and when this time becomes zero when you are using this timer in your phone it will just activate the vibration of your phone your phone will start to vibrate so just let's not waste the time and let's get started so i will just open my text editor sublime text and create three new files and the first one will be let's just save the first one i will just save it in my desktop as index.html index.html so the second one will be index.css for my CSS and the third one will be index.js for my JavaScript so in my HTML I will write the main text let's say and I will give the title of timer and also firstly I want to link the CSS and JavaScript so the CSS is index.css and the JavaScript is script and the source index.js my javascript so that's it now we can start coding so we'll start from html to css and at last we will just write the code for our javascript so in my html i want to give the id of body to my body tag so after that i want to create a deal and i want to give the id of container let's say container to this div and also i want to align it to the center so after that i want to have h1 inside this div and the h1 should welcome the user so we can say welcome to my channel oh no let's say welcome to my timer so here welcome to my timer after that i want to have one more deal with the let's say class name of main and i want to show main information inside this div so the first thing i want to have is to have input we don't need type and name for this but we do need value for now the value should be zero zero and it should have the id of let's say minute and also it should have the class of window because this is gonna be my window in order to show the time as you can see here in order to show the minutes as you can see here, here we have the idea of minutes and for now the value is zero zero and also I want to make this input disable it so if you don't know what to disable it let me explain it to you here also these numbers are in the input but if i click on it i cannot change anything i cannot do anything because it is disabled i cannot just alter anything here so you can also do it using this disabled attribute of the input so i will just copy this one and paste it one more time because i want to have the same thing for my in order to show the seconds so i will just give the id of second to this one and the class name should be the same and after that let's say oh here after that i want to have the line break after the line break i want to have the span tag and i will give the class name of text 
because here I want to show the text information of the numbers above. So firstly, I will write this strong tag because I want to have the text bolder and I can just say minutes for the first one and just copy this one, paste it one more time and the second one should be let's say seconds. So just write seconds. So after that, I want to have, let's say, line break. Oh, just I'm writing capital letters. Okay, just line break. After that, so firstly, let's see how it looks now, right now. So I will just open index.html in my browser. As you can see here, it is. Let's compare this one. We have these numbers. We have this H1. So the next one is to have this kind of inputs. So in order to do that, I will just write input. Let's do the first one first. Okay, the type should be button and the value should be plus sign for the first one. And it is a kind of control. So I will just give the class name of control to this control. And also when the user clicks the button, so when the user clicks this first button, it should go to my JavaScript and run the function with the name of plus M because I want to add numbers to the minutes. So it is plus minute. So and the, it should have the ID of let's say button one because this is my button one. So I just want to have four of these kind of buttons. So I will just copy this one and let's say paste it two, three, four. That's enough. So firstly, I should change the values. So the second one should be minus, third one plus, and the fourth one should be minus. And also, second one should be should run the function with the name of let's say minus m because minus minutes, and it should have the ID of button two. And the third one should have the let's say function name of let's say plus s plus s plus seconds and the id of button 3 and the fourth one should be minus s minus s minus seconds so i will just say, write minus s and the id should be button 4 so let's just check whether it worked or not here so as you can see here we have buttons after that we have we should have these main controls start stop and delete this so in order to do that, firstly, I want to have the line break, one more line break. So just BR, line break. And after that, I want to have input, and the type should be button this time also. And we don't need name for this, but the value should be start for the first one. And also, it should have the class of, let's give main, main C, because main controls main C and also when the user clicks this button it should go to my JavaScript and run the function with the name of let's say start and after that I want to give the ID of start to this one and just copy this one copy like this and paste it two three so the second one should be let's say stop it should have the on click should call the function with the name of stop and also the id should also be let's make it stop so after that the value of the third one should be delayed because i want to delete the time here and class should be the same and it should call the function with the name of delete so the reason I'm writing this delete function with the capital letter, the first letter in capital, because let's check what will happen if I write in small letters. As you can see, it just it is shown in the red colors. The reason behind this is that delete word has its own function is in JavaScript. So we cannot name our function with the name of delete. But when I change the first letter to capitals, it works. So I just want to do like this. So I also suggest you to do that. And it should have the ID of delete. So let's check what do we have now. Here it is. We do have these buttons also. So the last thing left is to have these color buttons. So 
how to do that so i just want to put the color buttons after my main div so just let me just make it easy to read so now i want to have the input let's say input and it should have the type of button we don't need name for this but it should have the let's say value of color one let's write color one and also i want to have let's say on click it should go to my javascript and run the function with the name of color one and also i want to have the class name of button to this one so what i want to do is just copy this one and paste it three more times one two three four now we have four buttons so let me just do it like this so so the second one should have the value of color two third one color three fourth one color four and also the function name should also change color two color three color four and the class name should be the same because i want to give the same design to them so let's check here it is we have everything ready for our in our html so it's time to write our css code and make this html more beautiful so let's get started i will just go to my index.css so firstly my body should have the text align of center and also it should have the background color of let's say 10475m for now and also it should have the margin top of let's say 60 pixels so let's see how it looks now here it is for now so the next thing i want to do is to just design these two numbers i gave the class name of window to them so i can just say dot window so it should have the width of let's say 80 pixels and it should have the height of let's say 80 pixels it should have the font size of let's say 50 pixels and the font weight so font weight should be bolder because i want to make it bolder and also it should have the background color of 104 75 f so i i also suggest you to do this because you might think that it's the si same background color as this body has but as you can see here we have this div so it has different colors so if you don't do, just write that color this part will be white so you cannot see the numbers so after that the real color the text color should be white and also i want to have the margin of 10 pixels and also i want to align my text to the center so i want to have the border radius at last so five pixels so let's see just as you can see it is working now so let's just give design to our main div the d with the id and uh, with the class name of main so i will just say main so it should have the width of let's say width of 320 pixels and background color of white and also it should have the border radius of let's say 20 pixels so and also it should have the height of 300 pixels it should have the margin left of 30 pixels so and then it should have the margin bottom of let's say 40 pixels so maybe just we don't need margin left because we have already aligned everything to the center so just it's redundancy so here it is so next i want to give design to my buttons with the let's say class of control this plus minus plus minus plus minus so in order to do that i gave the class name of controls so firstly let me just go down like this so we gave the class name of controls so i can just say control it should have the let's say firstly border radius of five pixels 
and also it should have the width of let's say 50 pixels maybe and the height of 60 pixels and also it should have the color of white and the background color should be black and the margin should be 5 pixels top bottom and 2 pixels right left and the font size Oh, font font size I want it to be 50 pixels maybe and oh let's just make it 40 pixels 50 is so big and also I just want to align my text to the center so let's see how it looks now so here it is it is working so next one I just want to give design to my this minutes and seconds I just put them inside this span and I gave the class name of text so I can just track it using CSS so I will just say dot text so the text should have the color of black we don't want to just put too much design to this one the color of black the font size of let's say 25 pixels and also the margin of let's say 14 pixels here it is now it is working so the next one i just want to give design to these main controls start stop and delete we gave them the class name of main c so we can just say dot main c they should have the let's say margin top firstly of 10 pixels and also the border radius of let's say 5 pixels and also they should have the background color of let's say pink and after that they should have the width of 100 pixels and also the height of 60 pixels and also the font size of 30 pixels so here it is the last two things left to, in order to, to design in CSS is this but color buttons and my H1. Welcome to my timer. So, firstly, I want to just design these color buttons. I gave the class of button to them. So, I can just say background color should be black. So, let's just make it black. And also, the color should be white. So if you want, you can just give different style to your in your CSS. It's totally up to you. But I hope that you can just follow me. So I gave the width of 60 pixels, the height of 30 pixels, and also the font size of 17 pixels, and also the margin of, let's say, 10 pixels. So let's see now why it is not working i guess oh here i just spelled it wrongly the button should be b u t t o n so here it is it is working so the last thing left is to design my h1 welcome to my timer so i only have one h1 so i can just track it using its tag name h1 so it should have the background color of let's say a q u a and also the width should be 350 pixels so after that it should have the height of let's say 50 pixels and it should have the text aligned to be center and the border radius should be 10 pixels and also margin should be margin oh we don't need margin let's just font size should be 35 pixels and the vertical align should be middle so here it is the design is cool better than this one as you can see here this part is not so aligned to the center not the same but the one we have just built is perfect but Unfortunately, it doesn't have any function yet, so let's just move to our JavaScript. 
So the first thing we need to know is that we have already given the names to our functions, as you can see here, plus m, minus m. So firstly, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it means in our JavaScript, we must have 11 functions. So let's just not waste the time and get down to the business. So the first function, the first function, as you can see here, it is plus m, plus m. In our HTML, it's plus m. So I will just say plus, plus m. So the first thing I need to do to declare a variable with the name of means, it's minutes, and it should be document, document dot get element by id and minute so that's it we have already just tracked this part because we want to increase it that's why we should declare a variable and track it so if this function is called the value of minutes should be increased by one so in order to do that i can just say minutes dot value plus plus should be incremented by one and also, I just want to make sure that these numbers, the number of minutes is not higher than 60. So in order to do that, I will just say if minutes.value is higher or equal to 60, I want it to be 0 again. So I will just say minutes.value is equal to 0. Just copy this one. And the next one, if minutes.value is less than 10, I just want to see zero before it. So in order to do that, we'll just say minutes dot value is equal to zero plus minutes dot value. So I guess that's pretty enough for our first function. So now we can just check whether it's working or not. So as you can see, if I click the button, it is increasing. And when it goes to 60, if I click it one more time, it will just go to zero again. If you want, you can just check it because I don't want to waste your time. So next, I just want to give function to this one. Second, first minus button. First minus button. So it has its own function with the name of minus M. We just want to minus M. So Firstly, war, let's just copy this one, war minutes, we want to track this one, and firstly, <coughs> we need one condition for this first, so the condition is if minutes.value, value, let's say less than or equal to zero, we want it to be 60 again, so I can just say minutes.value, should be equal to 60 again so and when this function is run I j can just say minus dot value minus minus it will just increase the number by one and also I can just copy this one when it's higher than 60 it should be 0 and also when it's less than 10 it should have 0 before it so you can also just copy that one so let's check whether our second function is working or not. So as you can see here, it is pretty much working. <coughs> so next, let's just give design to our function with the name of plus s, plus seconds. So here in, um, in my plus s function, firstly, I want to declare a variable with the name of seconds and it should be document dot get element by id and the id is second so when this function is called it should go to my job it should just change the value of seconds by one so it should be increased by one and also it is plus function as you can see i can just copy this one and paste it but do not forget to change these minutes into seconds so this one should be seconds seconds this one should also be seconds and here also we have it should be seconds <coughs> and also here seconds so 
that's pretty enough i guess for our search function as you can see it is working so next i will just i want to write one more function with the name of minus s so function should be minus s so if you want it's minus function right you can just copy this one everything inside this just copy this and paste it here and change everything here into seconds so this one should be seconds and also document dot get element by id should be second and this minutes should be seconds let's say and also this one should be seconds so seconds and make sure that you just change every single minutes into seconds because if you just miss one of them just your <coughs> your timer may not work properly so that's it let's just see whether it works or not it is not working so let me just find out why so i just do here Delete is not defined at on click something like this. Oh, minus s is not defined. Minus s. So let's just go here, and as you can see, we have just changed it into minus s. So in my JavaScript, I said m i minus here minus s, and here minus s oh maybe i forgot to reload the page maybe yes it is working now i'm just sorry for that so <clears throat> that's it for these four buttons it's time to just give the to just give function to our start stop and delete functions so let's start from start function and it's gonna be I guess the longest function we have in this project so before writing that I just want to declare a variable with the name of set the time so I will just explain it when it when its turn comes so <clears throat> I want to have function and the name should be start so firstly I just want to declare minutes and seconds so minutes should be document dot get element by ID minute and war seconds should be document dot get element by ID and should be second so firstly <coughs> let's see this project the ready-made project if I do not set time but if I click on start button it doesn't do any function so we should also do in our project so in order to do that I will say if minutes dot value is equal to zero and I can just say seconds dot value is equal to zero I don't want to do anything so in order to do just just return the function just return that's it it doesn't do any function so after that I want to have else statement it means if they are not equal to zero I just want to start the time oh it should be I guess okay set the time should be let's say set interval set interval and it should run the function with the name of counting in every 100 one one seconds so i guess it's time to explain it the counting function we will write after some time will just decrease the number of seconds if we set the time it will just increase decrease the time so this function counting function should be call it in every second and then which is the time here can get updated in every second as you can see like this in every second it just update the time like this so in order to do that I just set the interval here set interval counting one second 
and also as you can see if I click the start button pay attention to this plus minus plus minus and start button itself they just disappear so I also want to do that so in order to do that I will just say document dot get element by ID and the ID start firstly it's it's display oh firstly style dot display is equal to none I don't want to show anything so the second one will be document dot get element by ID and it will be button one and dot it should be dot style dot display is equal to no so I will just copy this one and paste it three more times two three oh just one here four so the only thing I should change is button two button three button four so I can just set the time oh in our JavaScript in our new made project I can just set the time first if I click on start it will not run the function because here counting is not defined it means we haven't written the counting function yet so it doesn't work so in order firstly let's write the counting function so we'll say count function counting right so firstly let's just copy this one and paste it like this so when this function is run the value of seconds should decrease by one in every every time this function is called right so i can just say function value dot seconds dot value should be decreased by one and also i can just say if seconds dot value becomes less than zero the the value of minutes should also decrease by one minutes dot value should decrease by one so the reason behind this I do this as you can see for example if I set here two minutes and one seconds if I start the time as you can see when it becomes zero again just this minuses will decrease by one this is how this timer works so and also when it's less than zero the seconds dot value should again be 59 so after that what I want to have is I want to have if statement I will just say if minutes dot value is less than 10 what I want to have is minutes dot value should be equal to 0 plus minutes dot value so after that what to do now so the next one let's write the condition for our seconds also so after this one I can just say if if seconds dot value is less than 10 I just want seconds dot value to be is equal to let's say 0 plus seconds dot value so after that when they are equal to 0 I should just stop calling this function so in order to do that I will just say if let's say if minutes dot value let's say this dot value is equal to zero and seconds dot value is equal to zero I just want to clear the interval so in order to do that we can just say clear interval so clear interval it should clear the interval of set the time so and also we when the time is becomes zero 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 we want to just activate the vibration of the phone so in order to do that I can just say navigator 
dot vibrate so it should go to seconds and after that when it becomes zero zero I just want to show these things <clears throat> so I will just copy this one and paste it here after navigator paste it here and just change this none into inline so inline this one should also be inline so it should be inline all of them should be inline so 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 it's just saying that here we have one more this extra why so let me just check here we have one and here it's closing we have one it's closing we have one it is closing here and also here we have one and here it must close so I guess that's pretty enough so let's check whether it works or not I do hope that it works so firstly let's not set the time and click the button as you can see it doesn't do anything because we should set the time first <coughs> after setting the time if I click on start as you can see the time will decrease 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 and now I cannot click this stop button because we didn't write the function yet to it so I will just go there as you can see this stop it has the function of stop right so I will just go to my index.js and write one more function so I will just say function stop so what does it do it just clears the interval start the time so it just stops this counting function sets the time and also I want to copy this one and paste it one more time I want to show these things so like this so let's check whether it works or not now I set the time I set the time start and if I click on stop as you can see the time stops and also these things will be visible so now it's time to give this to write this delayed function so in order to write this function I can just say that so let's just go down a little bit so we just want to make our code easy to read that's why I am just leaving the space between every function like this like this it is it's it's a good practice if you also do like this so the next function is delayed function right function delayed so what does it have do what does it have do so firstly I want to say document dot get element by ID firstly start So let's just firstly when I just delete it just copy this one and paste it one more time like this firstly and also I want to say war war minutes is equal to document dot get element by ID okay this one is minute and the second one war seconds is equal to document dot get element by ID it should be second so I just want to make their value to be equal to 0000, 0, 0, 0 when this delete button is clicked so <clears throat> in order to do that minutes dot value is equal to 0, 0 and the seconds dot value is equal to 0, 0. So I guess that's pretty enough for our this function. So like this one, this one, start. 
as you can say stop start it works stop delete as you can see it's all total, uh, equal to zero so the last thing left is to just give change the background color of this project using these buttons so it's a kind of task for you just you can pause the video and try to do it by yourself if you just can do it just let me know in the comments below and also if you just can't do it you can just watch the video the rest part of the video so as you can see here in our html we have already written four function functions actually it's possible to do them using only one function but i just want to make it simple and easy to understand that's why i just made four functions so let's write the function one the number one is color one so we just want to say var body is equal to document dot get element by id oh here get element by id your body as you can see we we have given the id of body to our body tag here so we just track it, it using its id and we will just say body dot style dot background so background color so it should be when i click the first button it should be red right let's write the hexadecimal color let's say 8s 8s let's say 15 15 it must be equal to red so let's just see whether it works or not just click the first button as you can see we can just change the background color of the body so just copy this one and paste it paste it paste it so in order to make it easy to read just space between them like this like this so the second function is color to color to the only thing we need to change is the code of the color so the second one should be a, a little orange right we can just write coral maybe and the third one is the one we gave to the body 10475f and the fourth one is a kind of gray so we can just say E E E triple E. So let's just see whether it works or not. Now I can just change the colors. Oh, I guess here I forgot to change the name of the function. Functions three, and here fun color four. Color three, color four. So just reload the page. Color one, color two, color three color 4 as you can see and also our timer is totally responsive it just responds to my screen as you can see like this just this one so that's enough for today's project i hope you liked the project do not forget to press the like button please 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 in order to break the algorithm of the youtube and do not forget to subscribe to my channel because it just says me that i should keep going and i should make more and more projects like this so thanks for watching the video do not forget to share the video also see you in the next project